Frank Warren, three months ago, back in the um, same place, um, Las Vegas. Just what do you think of the quick turnaround and Tyson Fury's back already? Well, I like him being busy. It's very important he stays busy. It's very important he stays focused. He's in great shape. He's maintained his condition. Um, when he came back roughly, well, I think it was roughly 14 months ago, whatever it was, he came back, he was 150 odd pounds overweight. He was training for his first two fights and even up for the Wilder fight to lose weight. He was training to lose weight. Now he's training to fight. And he looks exceptionally well. You only got to look at him physically. So hopefully he overcomes uh, Mr. Wallin on, mm -hmm. on Saturday. And if he does that, it sets up the big fight. And there's a lot of misconception here because a lot of people here in the United States look at Mr. Wallen and they go, oh, it's Tom Schwartz again. And if you, he's obviously southpaw, he's taller, he had a better amateur background. What, what do you think of the people, well, just because they don't know him? Look, what they don't know. If you'd have made Ruiz <laughs> uh -huh. against him, say, eight months ago before he fought Joshua, what would have been the betting on the fight? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. So suddenly, Tyson, Tyson is, for me, is the best heavyweight in the world. I, 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 think he'll, I think he'll win this fight, but this guy has got nothing to lose. As you say, good amateur background, he's a big guy, he can bang. He could hit the jackpot. He could do a Ruiz. You know, Ruiz has gone from earning hundreds of thousands of dollars to getting 15 or 20 million dollars for his next fight. That's what can happen in, in, in the heavyweight division. One punch changes your life. And we can go through a big list of fighters, mm -hmm. and from the American's point of view, Go back those years to Floyd Patterson and Inga Marmite Johansson. Eight times he was on the floor, knocked over. It happens. I hope it don't happen. That's right. not what we want to... But it can happen. But it can happen. Mm -hmm. And I think the guy, he doesn't seem... At the moment, he seems pretty comfortable. He doesn't seem uh, perturbed by it or overawed by it. He seems quite calm about it. Um, I just hope that the nerves gets him on Saturday. Now, we've already seen Fury and Wilder once. Aram, when he did the deal with you, said the idea is to make Fury more known in the United States so that the rematch is huge in That's his correct. world. Correct. So now this will be the second fight in the United States, plus you guys have done the rounds on ESPN and whatnot. Wilder will have fought for a second time, it looks like, in November with Ortiz again. What do you expect, assuming everybody wins, in that um, rematch in February? Well, I hope everybody keeps to their word and the fight happens. That's what, that's what Tyson wants and what he wants is what I want. Um, we want the fight to happen. You know, he got robbed last time. And it's a bigger fight now. It's a huge fight. Obviously, he's got to come through. Deontay's got to come through his own fight with Ortiz first. But if he comes through it, it's a great fight for everybody. I mean, it don't get no better than that. that that's going to be a, a grudge fight, a revenge fight, whatever way you want to look at it. Someone's got, we've got to put the record straight. And it was such a fantastic, dramatic fight last time round. I think it'll be no different. The, the second time. Now you said if it happens. I thought we read that there's already contract signed. Well, we're good. We're all, we're okay. all done. I mean, yeah. t he's all good to go. I mean, obviously, no one wants to tempt fate. They've got to get through their fights first, their respective fights. I asked that because um, Wilder said something recently how he give a step aside fee to fight Ruiz if Ruiz beats um, Joshua again. And that, what did uh, Tyson say? He needs 20 million for that, I think. Well, at the end of the day, let's see what happens. I, I, I don't believe Deontay Wilder. I think he's a man of his word and, and, and everybody involved wants this fight to happen. I don't even want to go there with that. It's, it's a big fight and why shouldn't it happen? Deontay's got to put the record straight. He knows that. He's got to put the record straight. That was a draw and in our opinion was a bad decision. But it was a draw and that's no way to leave that doubt. The only way we're going to eradicate the doubt for whoever, whoever felt who won it is from beginning the ring again, do it again. And the, and the best man to win on the night. Switching gears a little bit, in a couple weeks you got Daniel DeWalt coming back in the ring. What can you say um, about that fight? I know he's getting to where he's almost at that point where he's going to start fighting these real big fights. Well, I, I agree. You know, we got the, I think we got the best heavyweight in the world in Tyson Fury, without a doubt. And Dan, dangerous Daniel DeWalt is the best young heavyweight out there. And it may upset a few people, but the fact of the matter is, he is the best heavyweight out there. He's willing to fight anybody. I have no problem. The only fight I would not be making for him at the moment is against Tyson. Other than that, he'd fight all of them. He's a tremendous puncher. He's a, only a young man. He's 21, or just turned 22. He's a tremendous puncher, and he's dedicated to the sport. I mean, absolutely dedicated. Exciting, 
big, big, big banger. And uh, um, you know, we're hoping we'll bring him over here soon so the Americans can see him themselves. He, and he's fighting for the European title? He's fighting for the Commonwealth oh, title. Commonwealth, okay.